welcome back to my channel. I think at this point you guys can assume when I show up in the beginning of the video with my hair looking crazy, I think you should just assume that we're gonna be doing something great today. We're gonna be dealing with it because um, so today I wanted to play around with some new black owned products that I have the two black owned brands that I am going to be focusing on in this video are Rio Geo and Pearls two of my favorite brands but they have some new products some that are like brand new new to market and everything and then some that aren't necessarily new but some that I haven't actually used before so I'm very excited to kind of experiment with a little bit of a fun wash and go combination I also you know I'm going through a little bit of the thing with my hair right now I am having to kind of relearn it and kind of refigure it out a little bit ever since getting it colored it's not damaged or anything I mean you guys can see the curls are still kind of popping but it reacts differently but anyways we'll get into all of that in this video I will explain what's going on with my hair we will try some new black one products and just have a good time okay so let's get this party started for my wash products I am gonna be using these brand new brand new like brand new to the market products from Rio Geo. so this is a shampoo and a regular conditioner I'm thinking about actually not doing a treatment today just because I did one maybe about like four to five days ago so I feel like it's probably not necessary but I'm gonna feel how my hair feels we'll feel it out and see whether or not I think it needs one um, but yeah so these are the Rio Geo superfoods shampoo and conditioner I'm very excited about it so basically on the back it says that it has papaya enzymes to help balance oil production and antioxidant rich fruits to support healthy looking hair and scalp so that's basically what both of these products do they're just infused with superfoods and I'm just very excited about it it just looks like summer honestly <laughs> you know me I'm a sucker for packaging so when I saw the orange also orange is like my new favorite color all of a sudden as you can tell from my nails <laughs> um, so this is right on time for me honestly but when I saw superfoods Superfoods are always going to be good for your body and also for your hair. So I'm very excited to see how these work. Here is just a little close up of the packaging, just simple little packaging. This honestly looks like a juice that I could drink. You know those natural juices that you can pick up from the supermarket? These are literally brand new. I haven't even like opened it and smelled it yet. Whew, it smells it smells fruity. It smells like papaya straight up. Those papaya enzymes, I can smell them. It's not like overly sweet or anything. If anything, it has like that citrusy, almost a little bit of a bitter smell, but I kind of like it. It's like a bittery, clean, fruity smell. Honestly, smells like something I would drink. And so it's pretty runny, pretty liquidy. And usually shampoos like that are super cleansing. And I'm very excited about that. I have been really into cleansing lately. So let's go ahead and jump into the shampoo. I'm just gonna go ahead and fully wet my hair and then I'm actually gonna section it out. Okay, so sectioning my hair while cleansing is something that I actually started to do recently. I've just realized that the longer my hair gets, the harder it is to cleanse it because it's just so much hair and it's difficult to get to the inside to actually cleanse it properly. And so another reason why also is because ever since I colored my hair, my hair is a lot more low porosity. Um, because we didn't color with bleach, we just went in straight with color and then on with toner on top, the toner actually closes your hair shaft. So I actually went from being mid to low porosity to low, low porosity. And that's what I've been dealing with a little bit. It's been a little bit harder for products to actually absorb into my hair and I'm dealing with a lot of buildup. So I have been a lot more anal when it comes to actually cleansing my hair. In terms of this shampoo so far, it actually feels really, really nice. I actually didn't use that much product, but it's got a really nice lather going on. It almost feels like a little bit softening, but also very deeply cleansing because this lather is insane. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this section out and then repeat the same steps for all the other sections. You see this? I just wanted to point this out right now. Whenever I finish a shampoo, I know that I got a good deep cleanse when my curls look super, super defined. And that's exactly what we've got here, just like, really defined curls and so I'm pretty happy with it so far. They feel extra clean so I am like excited to see how the conditioner will add back some moisture in for me. But so far, we good. And y'all know how I feel about Rio Geo, so <laughs> this is what I was expecting. <sighs> oh 
Okay, so my hair feels super clean, a little bit dry. My hair started out dry to begin with though, so I kind of figured that that would be the case. We did, however, get a really deep cleanse, so my hair feels super clean right now. So let's go ahead and dig into this conditioner. It is pretty lightweight. Let me show you guys the consistency. You can see the consistency here is pretty lightweight, but it still feels nice. I think this is exactly what my hair is gonna need, especially with it being so low porosity now, I think it's gonna appreciate more lighter weight products. I just feel like the lightweight products are definitely gonna be the way to go to get it what it needs, because right now, thick products are all just sitting on top, and that's it. Very excited to dig into this conditioner. So first thing we do, as always, is section. I'm gonna do slightly smaller sections because I wanna make sure that we are getting this conditioner to every single strand, over. This feels so nice and silky in my hair right now. Wow. Oh my goodness. This is delicious. Like, silky is the best word that I can use to describe what I'm feeling right now because the slip is actually really, really nice. So this is one thing I've noticed with Rio Geo conditioners. I don't know what it is, but they always tend to foam up in my hair a little bit. I don't know why, but they just do. I don't know if it's their special formulation or what. They always kind of give me a little foam action. Ooh! Even some of their masks as well do this but they're just so effective, so I don't know, maybe this is, maybe this is their like special magic sauce because their conditioners and masks are actually my favorite, so I'm loving this and I actually feel like it's not really sitting on top, it's actually getting soaked in. So boom, first section done and we proceed. My hair feels really, really good. Oh, it just feels really nice and soft. I think that was the first thing I noticed. It was just super softening. So I am living. So you only need to leave this in for like two minutes because it is just, like I said, a regular conditioner. So I'm just gonna leave it in for the rest of my shower. I'm gonna rinse it out and then I'll meet you guys back for us to style outside of the shower. Whew. Okay, so after washing out my hair, my hair feels absolutely amazing. I love the pair of the shampoo and the conditioner. I love how they work together. You get the deep cleanse with the shampoo and the conditioner just comes through and just moisturizes and softens your curls, gives it all that it needs. So you can see curl definition is kind of popping on its own. This is literally nothing in my hair. I fully rinsed out the conditioner. So now we gotta get into styling. So. I have been making a couple of changes here too. I'm not going to suggest any of this just yet. These are just um, a couple of changes that I'm trying out right now. At some point, I will come through with like an updated regimen for my super, like my now super low porosity hair. But um, for right now, I'll just share like what changes they are. I still am going to be styling my hair super soaking wet. But as you can see, it's fully clear. So there is no conditioner or anything in here either. So my hairstylist actually put me on to I Am Black Girl Curls. And they have a whole theory that styling your hair with cream actually does not do what you think it's gonna do. We use cream because we want moisture, right? But they say that it sits on top of your hair, it doesn't allow the gel to soak into the hair shaft and do what it needs to do. And their actual main point is water, just water alone, is the main source of moisture that your hair actually needs. So the cream is like too heavy, it sits on top and yeah, so I have been trying this for the last couple of washes. So far, I feel like my hair feels like it's a little bit on the dry side, but I don't know. I wanna keep pushing on with it and just continue seeing how it goes. My curls have been popping, I will say. They have been popping. You know what though? I was actually thinking about maybe putting a little bit, like a drop of leave-in conditioner in here just to give it just a little bit of added moisture. And that way it's mixed in with the water, so it's not gonna be too much. So you know what, that's what I'm gonna do. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So our styling products today are going to be these two. So this is what I'm about to drop into my spray bottle. This is the Curls Blueberry Bliss Reparative Leave-In Conditioner. I'm smiling because this is the OG fave. I've been using this ever since the very beginning of my natural hair journey. Haven't used it in a while, kind of curious to see how it holds up in my hair now, even though we're just gonna be using it a little bit. I'm not using it directly as a cream, just 
a little, little drop in my spray bottle and that's it. And for gel, we're using this gel right here, also by Curls. This is their Be In Control Curl Sculpting Gel. It is $6, y'all. A $6 gel. I know I'm a little bit more bougie. I use a lot of the more expensive products. So I'm really excited to try out the $6 gel and see how it works. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and just get this started. All right, so time to drop just a little, little teensers of leave-in conditioner into the spray bottle. So just like a little shoop. That's it, that's it. Can y'all see that? That's a very small amount. Shake it up real nice. All right, so let's do this. So I'm gonna completely dampen my hair. Actually, I'm gonna pick a small section. I'm gonna work in very small sections today. So we're just gonna work in this small part and just make it super soaking wet. That does not change, y'all. <laughs> that is the key to life. Okay, another thing that I've been trying out lately is this new brush. So this is, well, it's not a new brush, but it's new to me. It's called a wet brush. I'm not really gonna talk about it too much because it is not black owned, so it's not really the focus here, but I have been testing it out. Y'all know I did not have very much success with the Denman brush, but this one so far has been kind of good. But again, I'll probably come through with a more detailed video on that at a later date, once I've made like my final decision on it. All right, time to go in with this gel. I'm just gonna smooth it on top. Wait a second, I see some magic happening. <laughs> I can feel it. It feels really good. Okay, that looks kind of nice. Okay, okay. Did I show you guys the consistency of this gel? It's pretty unique. It's like, I don't know. It's more of a jelly kind of gel. The way that it is just juicy in my curls right now is very nice. Very, very nice. And frizz wear. Yo, I don't even know if I mentioned that I've never used this gel before. Like while I've used the Blueberry Bliss leave-in conditioner before, I've never used this gel before, which is why I think I just kind of jumped in and was like, okay, let's go. I was so excited to try it. <laughs> I'm honestly shook right now. I am honestly shook. I'm just shook because wow. I think it's probably a combination of the gel and the brush because the brush smooths me down, but when that gel slicks in there, this gel is so nice. Oh my gosh, we we may have come across the magic today. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just let my hair air dry a little bit. I may or may not do a little bit of an update tonight. I don't know if it's gonna fully dry today. Definitely, final results. We're gonna come through with the day two final results tomorrow so y'all can get the real, real so far. with these results right now. I can't even, I can't, I, I, I feel like I'm a little lost for words because it's the results for me, oh my goodness. So basically I just, I had time yesterday so I allowed my hair to just air dry and then right before bed I just had like a slight little, one little wet spot in the middle so I just diffused that quickly but um, for the most part I would say about 80% I air dried and there is zero frizz. There's zero frizz. We have curl definition. And something that's also been really important for me is to make sure that my curls also have shine. Because you could have a really good gel that has the hold, it has the curl definition, it gives you everything except shine. And that always kind of, it just misses the mark a little bit for me because I love shiny looking curls. And this came through with the shine. I think the entire wash from beginning to end, all of the products that we used were absolutely bomb. I do want to specifically talk about this gel though because I was so, so excited about it. I went and looked 
at the ingredients on the back and almost had like a mini heart attack. So when you look at it, it is like closer towards the end. It says PEG 12 dimethicone. And so as I was explaining to you guys, you know, with my low porosity hair buildup has been an issue and I'm not super strict on silicones anymore, but I still kind of want to avoid them, especially now that my hair shaft is pretty close because silicones are just going to seal that off even more. So when I saw the dimethicone, I was like, oh my gosh, but it wasn't just, it doesn't just say dimethicone, it says PEG-12 dimethicone. So I actually did some research to figure out like what that meant because that seems like a different type of a silicone. And good news, y'all, it is a water-soluble form of dimethicone. So meaning the next time I wash, I don't have to stress because of my cleansing routine anyway, I'm being a lot more anal with cleansing and sections and making sure I'm getting everything out with my shampoo. Because this silicone is water soluble, we don't have to worry. We don't have to worry about it still being left behind on our hair and I'm very, very, I'm very happy about that because for a second there, I was like, oh my gosh. Like, I love it so much, but if it had silicones in there, I wasn't too mad because where you look at it in terms of like where it falls on the list, it's closer to the bottom, so it's not as much in there, you know what I mean? But if it wasn't a water soluble silicone, I'd have been like, okay, I can't use this gel as often, especially with my hair being so much more low porosity because that would just cause a lot of buildup issues. Um, but I'm happy to report water soluble, so I'll be using this as often as I want. So I am truly, truly, truly impressed by this gel, honestly. Um, this is one of the gels out of the Curls Ultimate Styling Collection. So I had a look at the other gels. They're also six bucks, which is crazy, um, but they're all for different reasons. So this is the strongest hold one out of that entire collection. It's a firm hold specifically for wash and goes. And I love how it says, it literally says in the bottle, firm hold used for wash and goes. So the other gels that they had as a part of this styling collection, they have one like for protective styles. They have one for like twist outs and braid outs. Like it's so good, they all have different levels of hold, but I, you know me, I'm a wash and go girl. That's just my usual. That's what I love to do on the regular. So this, oh my gosh, it is amazing. Even though it's day two, it's still pretty small. So let's go ahead and actually try and fluff it out and see what kind of volume we're able to get today. So I'm literally just going to be fluffing. Pulling out my hair like this, pulling out in the direction that I want it to go. So I'm just pulling it apart like this so we can get it to expand. So you can see right <laughs> just from fluffing, look at the difference of the two sides. This is starting to come out a little bit. Another plus that this gel is about to get is the fact that there are no flakes. So y'all see how much I am fluffing out my hair, picking it out, blah, blah, blah. No flakes. So this gel. <laughs> It's really getting all the check marks today. It's ticking all the boxes. Who would have thought from a $6 gel? I love this. I love this for us. You know why? Because I've been seeing y'all um, in my comments like, oh, basically that, you know, my wash and go videos sometimes are like $200 worth of products or like over $100 worth of products. And I, I peeped it and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try and test a couple of cheaper products, which is the reason why I actually picked this gel for this video. And y'all, this is wow, 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 wow. I feel cute. I feel cute. Honestly, I could sit here and ramble on about how great and fantastic this was for the rest of the day because I'm literally that excited, but I won't keep you guys any longer. That is it. If you are interested in shopping any of the things that I mentioned in this video, y'all already know the deal. It's all linked in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had so much fun with this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm actually getting ready to go live on Amazon Live, okay? If y'all been missing it, you need to, you need to catch up on the Amazon Live. You don't want to miss it. So I'll link down in the description box below as well so you guys can check those out too. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!